I am here now with two-time Academy Award winner Kate Blanchett getting rave reviews, standing ovations for her role in the new movie Tar. Welcome back to GMA. Thank you, George. I guess we should get something out of the way right at the start. This is not a movie about dark, sticky coal byproducts. No, but that would be one that I would go and see. Right, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, it is not. It is not. That it is not. No, it's a, it's a byplay, Lydia Tarr, the eponymous, um, uh, uh, the woman in, who's in the title, and she's a uh, maestro. She's a consummate musician. She is a composer and a conductor, and so she's a, a position of great cultural power. And the moment we find her in the movie, she's having her greatest triumph, but all of these undealt with things of her past come back and haunt her, so it all starts to fall apart. It comes out later this week. I cannot wait to see it, and I was reading about your preparation for this movie. You studied German, you yes. studied piano, and of course you learned how to conduct. What was the hardest? Gosh, I mean, look, it was, it was a joy to do, actually. I mean, with every pregnancy, I mean, <laughs> I said I would go back and, and pick up piano again because I learn as a girl, but it was probably the moment of stepping in front of the Dresden Philharmonie and, and you conducted to, for real. Yeah, it was that was and it was a life changing moment. A friend of mine who was helping me with the conducting, you know, to beat, you know, you would beat with one hand and you shape the sound with another and you know, which is a bit like doing this, you know, which I hadn't done before. Um, she said you you won't be prepared for the sound that comes at you with those big uh, orchestral works and it was it was phenomenal. What is the heart of a conductor's skill? I think in it well Bernstein said it it's it's breathing. You know that you 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 the, give the downbeat with the in breath, and the out breath is the music. And the thing with the conductor is, we see them in performance, and it looks like what are they doing? Yeah, well, exactly. You know, what That's are they doing? But their presence often elicits, you know, their musical experience, you know, their pedigree, their understanding of the score and the history. It brings out a certain tone. And if you listen, as I did, to many different recordings, because Mahler Five, Mahler's Fifth Symphony is mm -hmm. at the, the center of the movie, you can hear the difference between the different conductors. They bring different sounds out. So, what do you think you brought to it? Uh, a certain magic. I shouldn't say quoi. Um, I don't know. I hope audiences who see it in the cinema will be able to hear that. Let's but it's a rehearsal movie. Let's give everybody a look. Imagine her hurt, Todd. Don't you dare so to defend her. She'll come galumphing back. I mean, I've got a dumb phone like every robot. How hard can it be to text all day? Oh, slow down or let me out. As we saw, you also did your own driving. <laughs> you, play, you play a, um, uh, a concert musician, a conductor, and you do not expect to go on a Formula One racetrack and drive and the, the latest model electric Porsche and then shut down half of Berlin <laughs> and do stunt driving, which is what, what we did with Nina Haas, the wonderful Nina Haas, who plays um, my character's partner. Was that part fun? That was really fun. It was, I think that was a genuine scream on Nina's behalf, yeah. You know, I also read that Todd Field, the director, said that he would not have done this movie if you weren't available to do it. How much pressure does that add? Well, luckily, I didn't know that until I read the, <laughs> the press notes. <laughs> because I might, not, I might not have come out of my hole. Um, you know, it was, look, that's an incredible compliment. We met 10 years ago. Um, he was working on a piece with Joan Didion, and for one reason or another, because Todd is an incredibly rare and special director, and he doesn't leave the barn unless he has something to right, say. Right, he doesn't work that no. often. And so it's been 16 years since his last movie, Little Children. And, um, and so I've long wanted to work with him, so that was what I... Yeah, you're also. I, I just. I also just found out you're going to be in a new in part of this docu series uh, documentary now. Yes, where I play <laughs> a terrible hairdresser. And, a t and yeah. this was your idea. Yeah, yeah. I'd seen this um, really sweet doc. They spoof documentaries, mm -hmm. um, and I'd seen this really beautiful documentary about um, these hairdressers in um, Northern England, and I thought it was ripe for reinvention. So it's, yeah, that was fun. Conducting to hairdressing. Yes, Kate I know. Blanchett. I can. I look. I look. I, I'm really good at it. Sure yeah, you yeah. <laughs> you got Eddie's approval. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you're beyond help. I'm sorry. There's nothing much I can do there. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Tar is going to be in select theaters this Friday. It opens nationwide on October 28th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.